Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome to a new day in the Elder Scrolls arena. It is now the 21st of Hearthfire. Uh, what are we doing today? Uh, do we have to go talk to the... Oh, I've got stuff to sell. Let's, let's sell that stuff. And I should probably heal, but I might wait until maybe if I fast travel somewhere and it's night time and I'm going to wait until daytime anyway, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, okay, so i got stuff to sell. Let's get into it. <laughs> Such a chore this is. Oh, come on. 37 then. 38? Yeah, 38. Come on. Give me your best price. Oh, that's your best price. Okay. Done. Alright. Straight up to 38. Do this much faster. Got my right hand on the mouse, left hand on the numpad, and we're going to just churn through these motherfuckers. Uh, where are we? Uh, 27? 28? 27. 27. Done. Okay. 27. 27. 27. Done. Okay. Why are you not picking it, damn it? 37, 37, 45? 46? 45. 45. Done. Uh, I just gotta remember. <laughs> just memorize, like, if he offers me that much, how much do I need to counter with? <laughs> uh, Chain Paladin, 22, I believe that was 30? No, 27, right? 28? 29? No, 28. Done. And I think I got another one for you. Yes, I do. 28. 28. 28. Okay. Sell, 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 sell. Uh, plate gauntlets. Don't sell those. 20, 28, 28, 28, 28. 28, 28, 28. Done. 28. Uh, what else is left? Chain gauntlets. They are uh, also 28. 28. 28. 28. Done. What else do I have? Uh, oh, crappy bucklers. Can I actually get 9 out of it? I oh, can. Can I get 10 out of it? No. I can get, I can, I can get extra gold. Oh wow. What am I going to do with that extra gold? I don't know. What are you going to do with that extra gold? No, 9, damn it. Sorry. Maybe you could uh, buy a lollipop. Yeah, lollipops are. Now I'm pretty sure you won't be able to get any more of that. Yeah, no. How about I count it with three? It was your original price, dirt bag. <laughs> uh, what else do I have? I got some crappy stuff. You you're not gonna get anything better out of that. No. So um. Oh. A couple of things I need to talk about actually. Let me just sell this stuff and then we'll get right into it. Uh, we'll probably be fast traveling at the end of this episode, I think. Oh, I need to buy some more healing potions. That's right, you told me you wanted to. Yeah, okay, so what's going on? Um, so I didn't make, unfortunately, the 50,000 views that I wanted to get uh, yesterday, but regardless, I released a half an hour video where I did a new playthrough of Skyrim, because I don't have enough playthroughs of Skyrim, right? And uh, we did a Redguard playthrough, which is basically playing the game, first of all, playing it on Legendary Difficulty, which is, well, actually, yesterday not much happened, but I know it's going to get really hard later on. Um... Where is the Mage's Guild? I need to buy some potions. North? Okay, thank you. Which way is north? This way? Um, so, the, the basic rules for the Red Guard playthrough are uh, no armor, you can only wear Red Guard clothing, which is, as, it say, as I said, only it's just clothing. There's no armor rating at all. Uh, then we've got uh, weapons. No weapons except for the scimitar. That's it. That's all you've got. Just the scimitar. Okay, can I buy 
potions. Uh, he uh, healing? What, what's heal true? It, it just heals you more. Uh, I need two of these guys. Uh, how would you like to uh, take 80 gold? Oh, how about 70? Okay, okay, 75. 75. 75. Try again. <laughs> God damn it. So, yeah, so go check that uh, video out. Um, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Uh, healing. Two. Counter. Yes. 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 Yeah, all right, sick. Think it. Well, I got, I got twenty-five percent off the price. It's not bad. Not a bad day's work, I guess. Uh, so what else is going on? Um, so there'll be more, more of those videos when I actually do them uh, in the future. Maybe for particular milestones, or if I've, if I'm missing an episode. On that note, um, to date, all of these videos are the Sunday day. Uh, which is a shut up and play day, except the first, I think the first week I actually talked through it because I hadn't decided on the shut up and play thing yet. Um, I, all the shut up and play episodes, there's actually been some sort of gameplay involved and I've tried to make it so there's actually a lot of gameplay. Uh, however, is that supposed to be a moon? Yeah, that's a half moon. Oh, God, it looks weird. It looks like a giant, it looks like the giant c cocoon out of Venture Brothers. That the monarch has the monarch cocoon. Um, so to date, all of the Shadow and Play episodes have had like gameplay in them. Uh, however, uh, tomorrow, if I fast travel now, which I might as well fast travel now, because at, at some point there's going to be a Sunday when I'm going to be fast traveling, and I don't want the 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 numbers to be mixed up. I'm OCD about that. You know how it is, but um. At the same time, I don't want to just have a video of just like 30 seconds of me fast traveling with no voice and just the music playing. That would be really dumb. So what I will do is on those odd days, I'll do a bit of blogging, which is good because I will have something to blog about tomorrow, as a matter of fact. Because tomorrow, uh, well actually tonight, <laughs> So I'll blog about it tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to be playing uh, an interesting game. It's a, a Gundam game. What's the name of that game? Anyway, I've got it right here because I've got my little English guide because I'm going to need it because uh, it's all in Japanese and it's really complicated. It is called um, Kido Senshi Gundam Senjo no Kizuna. It is basically. It is a VR game. Now, if you don't know what Gundam is, jeez, get a life. Um, it's like a big robot anime, right? So, this is a VR game where you literally sit in like a cockpit. Like you actually, you open the pod up. It's this big ass pod. You open it up, you step inside, you close the lid. It's fully enclosed. So, any sounds or whatever that you might hear from the outside, well, they're not completely gone, but you can put on headphones, so it, you're completely immersed in this environment. Now, look it up on Google if, if you want to. Um, I might I might actually name this video that, the name of the game, so that you can look it up. But I'll tell you a bit more about it tomorrow. Um, actually, I might just name the next video that, so you can look it up. Anyway, um, basically, once you step in, you, you sit in this cockpit thing, it's got two joysticks, two pedals, so buttons on the right for various other things. I think that's just for settings and stuff. But then, in front of you is a giant 180 panoramic uh, screen. Like, so when you're sitting in there, you will see anything from directly up, directly down, directly left, directly right, and anything in between. So once you're in this cockpit, and like walking in the cockpit you can fully see your environment it looks really cool i haven't actually played it before so that's going to be my first day um so i will tell you my experiences tomorrow um i think it's like 
five dollars a game though, which is kind of expensive. But I only want to play a couple. I played a couple of times and then I'm done. It's it's really for the experience factor. I, I reckon it'll be really enjoyable. You sort of use the the joysticks to sort of move forward, and one button's melee, one button's long range attack. That I think both buttons at the same time is throw a grenade or something like that. It sounds like a really cool game. I'll tell you more about it tomorrow once I've played it. Um, but for now, uh, is there anything else I need to do? Uh, yeah, go talk to the Lord. Uh, okay, go talk to the Lord, and then we will uh, fast travel to the next area. Okay, alright, so where is... Excuse me, lady. Where is the palace? Uh, northwest, thank you. I believe I've actually already talked with the Lord of this area, but then again, I also did some missions. But then again, I actually think I talked to the Lord again after doing those missions. But you know what? I'll go see him one more time, just to be on the safe side, and then we'll fast travel uh, on to the next area. So yeah, so that's, that's how I'm going to tackle fast traveling during a Sunday, is I will just do a blog. I won't actually shut up and play on those particular days. Um, okay, yeah, let's go talk to this guy. Is that a lady? Hey, it's a different person. Oh, uh, maybe I haven't talked to her yet. Or maybe not. <gasps> oh, a mission! I welcome you to my village. Your arrival is fortuitous. For I have a favor to ask. If you can deliver something for me, I would be happy to reward you in gold. Would you be interested in hearing more? Yes, I would. Oh, God, it's Burak Bridge. I was just there, lady. Oh, okay. Would you deliver this note to Lady Fatima? It's only a day away, right? Yeah, okay. Well, I can do that. Fair enough. Uh, a representative of, of Lady Fatima will be there to receive your reward with 978 gold for your trouble. Burak Bridge lies less than 10 days. 10 days? Isn't it one day north? It's certainly not 10 days, right? You must get this final information, blah, 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 blah. Order the one prophet before the first of Phosphor, or it will be worthless. There are rumors that the Under King will try to stop you. Well, it just so happens that I'm doing another mission for the Under King. Um, I would not put too much faith in that, for my enemies are many. Be alert at all times for anyone. Uh, you will be doing my people a great service. I will agree to that terms, because um, I can totally do that. Alright, so we, I should I should really be keeping a record of what towns I do a main quest for. You actually should be. You actually really should be. I totally f don't know what... I need to make a, <laughs> a notepad document to figure out what... Uh, yeah, it is just one day away. Why would you say it's ten days away? We can totally get there and still make it in time. Alright, so let's save the game. Sick, alright. Alright, so I'm just going to save the game. Uh, okay, so today is Saturday. Done. Alright, and we will fast travel. So when we come back, uh, hopefully I will have arrived in Burak Bridge, otherwise I'll be fast traveling. Oh, actually, if that's the case, then I can do a shot of a play tomorrow. Oh, sick. Alright, well, we'll see you next time. Wait, I can't. Where's, the, where's my mouse? I seem to have lost my mouse. Oh, there it is. Okay. See you next time.